Demetrius. Hey, congratulations for the Panthers. Oh, thank you. I guess more importantly, congratulations for Tiff and being named Rising Star at Tiff. Oh. That is that is that is remarkable. Yeah, it's um pretty cool. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey, so um, so what attracted you to a um a role like uh like Will here? What what brought you on to this project? Um, well, obviously the story and the um like the dawn raids and everything that sort of went hap uh, that happened in the series I could relate to and was something that was very close to home. Um, I didn't really find out how close it was to home until I got the role and started doing my own research, came home, talk about it with my family. And um, my dad would tell me how like, oh yeah, like, you know, like some of my aunties and uncles were dawn raided. We'd go to school and, you know, everyone at school would be talking about like their family members who got dawn raided or stopped in the streets. And it was just something that, it was just a story I really wanted to tell. Um, just because a lot of people here in New Zealand don't know about it. And, you know, we don't learn about their history. So I was like, okay, we need to, we need to jump on this and we need to get the story out and um, do it justice. So yeah, that's sort of what attracted me to the role. So before you took on the role, how much of the Panthers did you know about? If I'm being honest, I didn't know too much. Um, like I knew of the Polynesian Panthers and I knew of the Dawn Raids, but like I didn't, um, I didn't really put a face to it. I didn't realize how much of an impact it actually had on our people and the struggle that they actually went through during that time. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, I jumped on the project, did research. Um, the OG Panthers were there to talk to us and yeah, just talking to everyone about it, um, sort of. Yeah, opened my eyes to the how big the issue was because people here don't really talk about it like the oldest um that went through it they you know they sort of keep it quiet and it wasn't until the series came out everyone started coming out with their stories like oh yeah this is um yeah this is what happened and it needs to change <laughs> <laughs> you know during your entire research what what was the thing about the panthers that most surprised you I think the thing about the Panthers that most surprised me was like how much they did in the community that people don't know about. Like they helped out with um, the legal system here in New Zealand. They opened up like, um, what are they, like homework centers for kids. They did all this community work. And, you know, here I was just thinking the Polynesian Panthers were just, just a protest group type of thing, you know, and but they've done so much within the communities that have helped bring Polynesian communities up here in New Zealand. So it's, yeah, it's just learning about how much they've done for us was just fuzzy. Did, did you actually have a chance to uh, converse or meet Will in real life? Yeah. Um, so I was lucky enough. I had like so many conversations with Will um, just about character and just, just in general, just to have a yarn and um, all the other Panthers as well would be on set. So would get to talk to them as well. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Did were, were you kind of nervous for taking a role, especially to know that uh, he's still alive and he's going to be watching your program? Definitely, yeah, definitely. I was um, I was pretty nervous coming in and just felt like a whole lot of pressure. Um, especially yeah, the first conversation I had with him and just sitting down with him, I was like, damn, like I'm about to be like acting as you in like two weeks time like this <laughs> like I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off and stuff I don't know how he's going to feel about um my version of the character but yeah I just tried staying as true to the character as I could taking aspects from um obviously Will from himself and then also talking to the other Panthers getting their sort of perspective on how Will was at the time and yeah and just off the script as well and my own research just to be able to build like an authentic version of Will that he would be happy with and that would serve the story as well. So what was he like uh, in real life and what was hard to imitate about him? Well, he was, um, he's a real humble guy, like in real life, like he's so chill and just funny, always cracking jokes. Um, but I think the hardest part about him to imitate was just his like, his confidence. Like he had the swagger about him that like, you knew when he walked in a room, just like the way he held himself and real, like, I don't know, like he's able to command respect from the whole room without doing anything. 
type of thing, you know? And I've, I found that difficult to sort of imitate because I didn't want to come off just looking like a cocky dude, you know, like walking around and thinking I'm the man. But um, yeah, that was probably a tricky, tricky part to sort of get. Now, now I um, I understand that your 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 heritage background is very similar to Will. Can you uh, tell tell us about that uh, heritage of yours? Yeah, yeah. So um, my dad's full Tongan and my mom's full Samoan. Um, so yeah, <laughs> product of both. <laughs> <laughs> with 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 this uh, heritage, does, does it make it easier to get into the role? Uh, you know, for for the series. Um. I would say it made it easier to relate to the character. It made it easier for me to like put myself in that character's shoes and empathize with um, what he was going through and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think it was also a big motivator for me as well, being you know of the same heritage as um, Will and a lot of the Panthers, and just knowing that we share a lot of um, experiences and stuff. Uh, yeah. It made it easier to sort of relate to the character and become the character. Yeah, did that answer the question? Yeah, it does. <laughs> now, I understand this is your second television series. How How is that overall experience for you? I mean, this, this is a much bigger role in series for you, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I was just grateful, to be honest, to um, jump on and yeah, it's just buzzy to be on. Um, it's funny because when I first went to audition, I didn't realize I was auditioning for the main role. My agent and um, what's it called? Noah, the producer, didn't tell me it was the main role until I got the callback. And then the casting director was like, oh, sweet, you'll um, be at here this time for the callback. Um, just to let you know, it's the main role. And I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, it's the main role. I was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. Now, now there's pressure. So, <laughs> um. But yeah, it was real fun. I, I learned so much on the job and um, yeah, had so much support from everyone. So yeah, it was it was cool. What was it like uh, to be part of this uh, period piece of the 1970s, you know, with, with the, you know, the costumes and all? Um, it was, that was real buzzy, eh? just like walking on set and you feel like you've gone in a time machine and everyone's, you know, in, um, back in the 70s. I think the only annoying thing was the work. <laughs> how it was just so itchy all the time and just I couldn't control it. I didn't know how to control long hair and the tight ass clothes. <laughs> but but it looks good on screen, so that's the only thing that matters. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you miss that wig? No. No, I do not. I do not miss that wig at all. It's, <laughs> I used to have a joke on set and everyone would just be like, oh, D, how's the wig? And I'm like, oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm done with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, Demetrius. Well, let, let me start wrapping things up uh, with you. What, what kind of roles do you seek um, from now on? I mean, th th this, uh, this this character of Will was a great dramatic role, but I'm sure you want to branch out into yeah. other things too, right? Yeah, it's, um, to be honest, I'm open really to anything, um, any challenging characters that um, I get to play, you know, maybe some comedic characters, maybe some... Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy doing dramatic, dramatic um, performances as well, just because they're quite challenging. Um, yeah, to be honest, just whatever, whatever I feel is right for me, then we'll take it on board. Um, yeah, just going day by day, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. And, and I'm curious because uh, your character will wear, uh, wear glasses in, in, in the series. Do you wear glasses? I actually do wear glasses. I don't know where my glasses are at, but um, <laughs> yeah, the ones on set, they, they weren't my prescription ones, so they were just glass, so I'd be on set like real blind all the time. But um, <laughs> yeah, I actually do wear glasses, which is crazy. Well, Demetrius, hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about the Panthers. I can't, I can't wait to uh, finish up the series, and hopefully you guys get a second season out of this. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thanks for having me. Hey, thank you. Bye now. See ya.